Pointless devs to random enemies. Give me what you got. Give me. Okay, Ridiculous fights against versions of yourself that are light years better in every single way. Bro, what is these combos? Boss fights that make you feel like punching bags. And worst of all, you finally dish out that killing blow, and it's time to reap the rewards. The game will snatch everything you struggle for away from you. Do it! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I'm dead. <gasps> Playing with me. Welcome to Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I'm gonna show you what it's like to earn what I like to think now is my rarest and hardest platinum trophy. If I'm not mistaken, this game has a 0% platinum rate and is rated at a nine out of 10 with 90 hours, which I find kind of funny because I've easily spent 200 hours on this platinum trophy and at least 40 hours just on chapter one, Master Ninja. Here's how I broke down my platinum experience. Step one, load up the game for the first time on the hardest difficulty that's unlocked from the jump, making sure I grab all collectibles. Step number two, load up the game on hero mode and earn any trophies that coexist strictly with that difficulty. Step number three, finish all 1,000 kill trophies with every single weapon. Step number four, earn platinum coins on all 76 ninja trials. And to round things off with the hardest of the bunch, step number five, lastly complete entire game on Master Ninja, make sure I get Master Ninja rank on all chapters. I bet it sounds extremely simple. Ha! It's definitely not. Head Ninja, I gotta go back on this and kill two more. What's my call of dudes, man? Dang. All right, since there are several different playthroughs needed for this platinum, I will mainly save the bulk of this game for my Master Ninja rank playthrough. But there are a few things I want to know in my hard playthrough before we collect all of the easier trophies. I know that gave me. New Ninja. Okay, as you can see, my very first chapter clear was absolutely terrible. I'm not gonna lie. On the left, it took me one hour, 40 minutes, and 80 seconds to beat this chapter. 69 kills, 4K S's, and a total of 200,000 is karma. I like to think it's a clear dilemma between the left side and the right side. Master Ninja takes a skill set I truly did not have at the beginning of this game, and it was about to be a very long road ahead of rage and growth, but let's get these easier trophies out the way. I have something downright diabolical to show you. Oh my God, heal an enemy ambush. 80 people? How the f they think that's okay? Oh, what was that? Defeat 1,000 enemies with a dragon sword. Use the strongest ultimate technique on enemies. 100 enemies at that. Let's go. Obtain 10 Scarab Barbers and Scarabs. Defeat 1,000 enemies with the Katana. Bro, this takes so long to do, bro. Kill every enemy in six ambushes. Let's go. Defeat 1,000 enemies with the Lunar Stab. Let's go. I didn't even see that coming. I'm really just farming enemies for points, huh? So. Inferno Master. You successfully. Okay. This was just something else, I guess. <laughs> it took me three hours. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Complete chapter 15, baby. Hold 99, 99, 99, 99 Obtain all scarabs. Let's go, baby. One, st one step at a time. And here's the final boss fight of my hard mode playthrough. This guy is extremely tough. I definitely died like 35 times to him. 
God. I got no juice. How am I supposed to fight somebody I can't heal? Let's do some cheese as best I can. Bro, I didn't even know I was getting hit. Cheese it. Cheese it. Guess what? Cheese it. I do a lot of damage. Cheese it. Oh my god, I almost had his ass first go. <laughs> god damn. I'm dead. I'm dead. Got his ass. It was way harder than it should have been. Now, as you can see, I ended chapter 19 and the entire game with a total 31 hours, 18 minutes, and 54 seconds clear time, almost 6,000 kills, 14K plus essence, no nimpo, and directly under 10 million karma. If you look slightly to your right, you will see that I would have to shave off 20 plus hours of normal gameplay and tack on damn near 6 million extra karma to even come close on getting Master Ninja rank on every chapter. Bruh, I don't even know how the f I did this. Let's go, baby. First clear. Cleared hard. Let's get finish all chapters of the game on hard. Now it was time for playthrough number two, hero mode. For those who haven't visited this mode yet, to make a long story short, it's easy plus with the plus being Ultra Instinct. Whenever your health lowers to 25% or less, you enter hero mode, where for lack of or better words, you receive unlimited nimbo for a short amount of time and you auto dodge and block everything. You're basically UI Goku in ninja form. Ah, you're too slow. You're too slow, my friend. They look like I'm dodging, I ain't dodging. He doing all this shit. I was pressing the triangle and square. All right, all right, all right. Throughout this entire playthrough, my goal was simply to have fun and get the Hero Never Gives Up trophy for activating Hero Mode 100 times. Finally, be a hero 100 times. Now I can just stop dying for no god reason. I also did some cleanup as well throughout the chapters, like getting 1,000 kills with the rest of the weapons that I didn't get a chance to get throughout my previous playthrough, such as the Wooden Sword. 1,000 kills with the Kotetsu Sword. One thousand kills with the Debilero. Finally, God damn, it took forever. Defeat one thousand enemies with the Dabalaharo. And lastly, one thousand kills with Rachel's Warhammer. Defeat 1,000 enemies with the Warhammer. Let's go, I think that's every weapon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there are exactly nine weapons in this game, but only eight of them have trophies attached to them. That's 8,000 kills to farm. It's about one hour for every 1,000 kills, totaling out to an eight hour-ish grind, give or take. I recommend you use chapter 18 to farm all the ghost fish over and over again. I mean, honestly, be prepared to waste eight hours of your life. Uh, yeah, eight hours gone. <laughs> Hate it for you, buddy. Next, I finished up the Nimpo trophies, which included Sorcery Master for using Rachel's Nimpo successfully 100 times. And lastly, for using Ryu's Ice Storm Nimpo successful 100 times as well. Okay, say goodbye to the trophy counter for a very long time. Everything from here on out has to be earned through sheer luck and stupidity. You seemingly have to be out of your mind to even attempt all 76 ninja trials on every difficulty. Let me break it down even more. There are 15 ninja trials total. In every trial, there's five phases. In every phase, there's four difficulties. Normal, hard, very hard, and master ninja. With every difficulty completion, you earn a coin. Bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Every trial must be platinum to earn the 0.7% 
percent trophy coin master a rough estimate for a single trial is about four minutes to one hour averaging out to be about 10 to 15 minutes per trial let's just say you're an s tier gamer completing all of this is probably going to take you 20 plus hours for the average gamer this is probably going to take them about 35 hours for a beginner or below gamer it's probably going to take you potentially 50 plus hours and no i definitely didn't spend 67 hours 53 minutes and 22 seconds on these trials i'm not trash you are let me show you some of my favorite easier trials that can be done in less than five minutes all right let's do five easy trials on master ninja to see how long it takes me the timer starts right now ninja tutorial phase one destroy all enemies oh i'm already getting hit See, now I actually know how to play the game really well. And you can expect to be doing pretty, pretty darn good. You just gotta know when to attack. You gotta know when to do your move set or your UTs. We'll get, we'll get into that a little bit later. You also have to know everybody else's combos. If that makes sense. That was a big thing where I didn't realize what combinations people were doing. I was just attacking and button mashing. This is not a button mashing game, even though it is a hack and slash button mashing game. You do not want to be button mashing. You simply want to be accurate with everything that you possibly do. You definitely want to use your counterattacks as well. And this is on Master Ninja, but once again, I just simply know how to play the game so well now. I sped through it. That took me one minute and 42 seconds. Let's do another easy one. Path of Master Ninja, phase two, destroy all enemies. This one is technically still very easy, but it's also very challenging as well. You also do have several different weapons that'll help you out. You can change and use whatever you like. I just normally use a dragon sword because it just simply seems to be the most guaranteed kill out of all of them. I look like I'm just flying through these, but I've also been playing the hell out of this. You see how I've got all of them at one time? I just know everybody's combination now, and I just know when to attack. I know when to bag off. I know when to come back through. Right now, I did 19 kills. It's going to get turned up by 10 a little bit later. So far, we're three minutes in. Oh, that ain't good. Now is it? Let's try another weapon while we're at it. Let's try the dragon blade. Oh, if it's a bunch of people, this is the weapon you want to use. Fire wheel. Wham. There's a lot of people. This is the weapon you want to use. I mean, this thing is crazy. Wham, 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 wham. As you can see, 44 enemies already. But well, when I first was doing this, I was getting destroyed, boy. What do you mean by that? Wham. I know some people will probably recommend this is not easy, but this is like easy mode to me now. But trust, once we move up to normal and hard, <laughs> Things are gonna get crazy. On this one ninja trial, I've already fought like 70 people. Oh, I'm dead. Imagine this one being one of the easy ones. <laughs> Damn it. I died. That, <laughs> that one was technically one of the easier ones. There's some that are a lot harder. That took me eight minutes and I died. It was a total of 100 people. I died at like 90. And the last three times I ended up with was 11 minutes, 14 minutes, and 15 minutes. I just wanted to give you a view of what you'll mainly be dealing with within these trials throughout your platinum grind. And obviously the times will vary based on you being a beginner player or not. Clearly, I've been already playing this game for 200 hours, so it'll seem easier for me. As a matter of fact, let's turn the knob all the way up. I want to show you the worst three trials in this game. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner player or a seasoned veteran. These trials will make you want to punch through your monitor. <laughs> Trial number one, Giants of the Other World Phase 5. Destroy all enemies. For some reason it says enemies, it should say destroy all bosses. As 
you can see, this fight contains three bosses, Alma, Deku, and Marbus. All three of these boss fights solo are extremely tough on their own, but since the developers of the game wanted to see who was dumb enough to even attempt this challenge, you have to fight all of them together. Hey, this some bull am I supposed to get him? See, my issue was trying to figure out when I was supposed to dodge and attack. Every one of these bosses have their very own moveset that can be punished accordingly. But when they're all spamming attacks together, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> I thought maybe focusing on dodging first and attacking second would help me in the long run. Basically playing the waiting game for my exact moment to strike, praying they don't interrupt my combinations. Well, fuck it. If dodging first doesn't work, let's go in full aggression mode and swing this sword as much as we possibly can. This has to be the answer, right? <laughs> I mean, I did some good damage, I guess. But good damage is not going to get you to beat this challenge. It was time to lock it in. Absolute focus on a task at hand. I mean, seriously, I still had the entire Master Ninja rank play through the start and finish, for God's sake. Change my weapon, bro. Oh, come on, man. Give me that kill. After three days straight of getting my cheeks absolutely pounded, I came up with an absolute S tier, Einstein, one of one, big brain idea on how I could overcome this fight without even breaking a sweat. Thank me later.
actually thought I came up with a new and improved, highly intuitive, brand new skill set to beat this trial. I honestly played you to the left. What actually happened is I died another 50 plus times, rage quit, and decided this was enough and moved on to the next trial that's even harder than the one I just showed you. Welcome to the Unearth Challenge Phase 4, Destroy All Enemies. Once again, we're put up against more than one overpowered boss, but this time things have taken a change for the worse. We have to beat Icarus and Nashe with the worst playable character in the game, Rachel. Mind your stupid bitch! Honestly, both of these bosses are a cakewalk, separate or together. It doesn't really matter if you're playing with Ryu. But of course, it's a pointless ninja trial, so we have to thug it out with Rachel that has terrible reach. <laughs> she ain't terrible damage. Terrible mobility. No, game! I'm right. You get that fucking weird wall angle where it makes you jump away from them, bro. Dang. And worst of all, an absolutely terrible Nimpo that doesn't actually do any damage. I mean, I guess at least she has some nice watermelons. In 20K HDR 1200FPS Super Nintendo iOS 49 Blu-ray Ultraviolet Radiation 1080p PlayStation 5. This is another challenge that will force you to become a god at a trial that less than 500 people in the entire world have ever completed. I mean that literally. As you can see right here, less than 500 people have ever completed this platinum trophy. I hope I'm one of them. Look, I could drag both of these trials out for hours and hours if I really wanted to, but we have much, much more important matters to tend to, so here's my victories over these trials and the trophies that are connected to them. I know my camera was off, bro. The new camera I'm using, oh my God. I'm gonna have to change back to my old one because apparently this one can't stay running for too long. It'll shut off. Oh my God, bro. An hour and six minutes for this one challenge, right? Not including all the other attempts I'm not showing, bro. Ugh, hardest platinum trophy ever, bro. <laughs> And the last ninja trial, Eternal Legend, is going to roughly take you about 45 minutes to an hour, no matter what difficulty you play on. Cleared all ninja trials and path up to the ultimate ninja, W. Cleared the trials from unrevealed. Uh, meeting secrets to shoot. Okay. Do I really need to read that perfectly? You, you, you see what it say. Oh, cleared the trials from secret fighting to captivating goddesses. Obtain 50 coins on Ninja Trial. She was, you know, walking me, you know, of course, she was. Ah, let's go! Make sure nobody was talking to me. Or 
Let's go. Over 50 million karma. <laughs> I'm getting so close, bro, to the hardest platinum trophy ever. This is what I was scared of right here. Don't really know how much karma you got, you know, until you get the trophy. I had no idea I was that close, so GG. Sing that shit. Sing it! <laughs> Clear all ninja trials. But the only issue is, is I still have to beat them all on Master Ninja. All right, I got one last hit. Please, for the love of God. Do your little that's what I do. That's what I do. Woo, buddy. I fucking needed that, bro. Do you know how long it took for me to get that? Now let's start the Master Ninja grind. Boy, I have some embarrassing clips to show you on my path to greatness. No, why not? <laughs> Bro. But first, I have a few things we need to go over so you can understand what's actually needed to even complete a monstrosity like this, especially for anyone that's stupid enough to even try this platinum after me. Damn, bro. Number one, everything is based around gaining karma. Karma is properly earned on a time-based system. Whilst in any fight, any chapter, and obviously the entire game, karma can be manipulated in several different ways, such as completing fights in under the recommended time span given to you by doing high hit combos, and what I like to think is most important, maximizing your ultimate technique stage one and two. Honestly, 75% of these fights have an almost impossible time frame to complete, so maximizing your UTs can replace points that you otherwise wouldn't earn. But remember one thing, only during specific time given can you actually gain any karma towards your end chapter score. Honestly, simply from my standpoint and from what I noticed, chapter one is simply the hardest to finish, let alone get Master Ninja rank on. The problem was obvious. This chapter is heavily relied on skill and knowledge of enemies, which I damn sure didn't have none of. I was basically reliant on my health bar, which wasn't there, the Nimpo, which wasn't there, or the Azuno drop, which wasn't there as well. It was simply me against this chapter and things weren't going as planned. Damn, cuz. So I decided to put a timer on thinking maybe I would play better if I timed myself. Look at this shit, man. Why am I stuck right there? As you can see, all I did was waste four hours of my life. I seriously died at least another hundred times attempting to get close to the end boss fight of this chapter. But when I finally got close enough, this is what happened. No! No, bro! Man, it's a Moya. Ain't no way it's Moya. So I did what any respectable player would do in this situation. I skipped straight to the end of the chapter and prayed I sneak my way into that Master Ninja rank. Please, for the love of God, give me this shit, bro. If this ain't it, I ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> what the? What do I gotta do, bro? Damn. Weirdly enough, chapter one made me a 10 times better player. I just didn't realize. So when I reached chapter two and three, supposedly two other hard chapters, I absolutely blazed through them. Grabbing that Master Ninja rank on my first try. Ooh, my very first Master Ninja. I mean, I got it on chapter two, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Chapter four was another cakewalk, I thought. I ended up with Head Ninja at the end of the chapter. That's one below Master Ninja. I didn't think anything of it. So once again, I decided to come back to it a little bit later, which is going to bite me in the ass something serious. Just because of this simple mistake, I was gonna have to do a completely new playthrough, but I haven't found it out just yet. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's 
go one more down the green, baby. <laughs> Chapter 7 is where the difficulty spikes up a little bit and I got stuck for a few hours simply because of these annoying ass cats in the game. I maybe died to them 15 to 20 times before I got back on track. God damn. Cats and shit, man. Cats! I hate these cats so much. I really do. Already did, boy. How the fuck did he dodge? How the fuck did he dodge it? This deep. The investment of the year! <laughs> the investment of the year. I don't know if that counted or not, but that was the investment of the year, bruh. I had 315 kills. God damn. This ain't Master Ninja. I don't know what it is. That ain't Master Ninja. I don't know what it is. Chapter 8 was extremely easy. Any chapter where you play with Rachel is almost a guaranteed legendary hunter. That's basically the lady version of Master Ninja. <laughs> Man, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Chapter 9 was a breeze, until I had to fight two bosses back to back for no reason. This gave me some trouble for a while. I need to end. I didn't have over 2,000 essence. Got no nimpo. No nimpology. Still got it. <laughs> I thought they were gonna give it to me, boy. <laughs> And for chapter 10, this is where disaster struck. I had hard locked myself out of the Master Ninja rank completely. All the Master Ninja ranks I received previously was basically me sliding away with just enough karma for that specific chapter only. When going for karma, you want to have way over the required amount, just in case. <laughs> Bro, I ain't no way this <laughs> This shit is just cheese, cuz. I retried this chapter at least 10 times with the same results. Man, how the. Man, quit giving me this fing head ninja shit, man. How? As much as I didn't want to admit it, I had to restart from chapter one, solely focusing on having as much karma as humanly possible, which turned out to be not so bad in the long run. I even completed chapter one without any struggle since I had so much time invested in Master Ninja now. 73, how many kills I was supposed to get? I think you need 400,000 for the first time. Oh, no, I lied. Master Ninja! <laughs> weird, buddy. You're weird. Finally, I was back at chapter 10. Now let's see what happens. They gave it to me the fuck. Why y'all give it to me the first time? Chapter 11 through 14 were piss easy as well. Three master ninja ranks in my true opinion. Chapter 15, I got eaten by a dragon and had to restart the entire chapter. You can actually see the joy on my face.
For chapter 16, I got hard locked again, but this time it was fixable, kinda. The issue was I really didn't want to waste another four hours of my life doing an ambush that has 120 enemies, fighting them back to back to have enough karma to get the Master Ninja rank. So I tried to finish the chapter in several different ways. Ultimately, nothing worked. Head Ninja, I gotta go back on this I killed two motherfucking what's my call dudes, man, damn. Greater Ninja, oh no, oh no. But sadly, that's exactly what I had to go and do, and it was terrible. Fighting 120 enemies is extremely exhausting, especially when you die over nine times once you hit that 85 kill mark. After completion, I definitely got the Master Ninja rank and I was one step closer to this 9 out of 10 difficulty platinum. No Nimpo. That ain't good. No Nimpology. I forgot about the Nimpology. I'm scared to look. <laughs> the no nim policy is gonna hurt me later on. The beginning of chapter 17 is horrible. I absolutely hate fighting the doppelganger version of myself. These guys are so unfair. Somehow they can block and attack at the same time. It's like fighting yourself on crack. I just don't understand it. Just got hit by the shit. That's just unlucky for you, man. I dodged the fuck. I'm dead. Oh. I'm fucking dead, man. Cause it's cheating ass shit he using. Dead as fuck. Missing by a Texas mod. Luckily, if you can defeat yourself and in chapter boss Deku, it's a guaranteed master ninja rank. <laughs> I'm one Nimpo short. I still got it. I still got it. <laughs> I was one Nimpo short, bro. I gotta start all y'all. Chapter 18 was a gauntlet of bosses that I smashed through on the first try. This is probably the only chapter that had three or four bosses that didn't destroy me over and over again. Master Ninja. And finally, chapter 19, the final boss fight against Mirai. This fight is straight up textbook. I went against him a hundred times if it mattered. I mean, seriously, the odds are tipped in my favor. A million. Oh, I got it. Clear, very hard. <laughs> well, I got a trophy for very hard. Clear Master Ninja. Finish all chapters of the game on Master Ninja. Yes! Woo! I didn't think I had it. I Get Master Ninja on all chapters. The hard part is out the way. Now, once I remove this, this will let me know if everything else stacks. It should stack if I'm not mistaken. There we go. The true ultimate ninja. They didn't even show the other trophy. <laughs> Who you know got that plat, baby? Who you know? That's me, that's what I do. You thought I wasn't gonna get it. This took me 200 plus hours, bro. This is not easy, bro, for anybody that wants to go for this platinum right now. I hate it for you. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, no! It's trying to get hit. Yeah! Oh my god! I sure did No, bro! Damn, bro. She's it. She is. Oh my god, bro. 